put me on the drunk side of the bar. I'm thinking this whole Wild West adventure might have been the wrong decision. His big mouth got him killed. Jesus knows a raccoon meat over the border. Sorry, Crazy Mexicans. I'm in a world of my own. Swindling me. Have you lost your damn mind? He was awful rough to me. Why can't all men be like you? Maybe it's you, time sir, to think about a different line of business. My apologies, yeah. mister. Boyle, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mechanic. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <gasps> Fuck off, Boyle. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Uh, I ain't gonna tell you twice. Uh, I always did have to laugh that way, boy. <laughs> a Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Uh. All righty, my guardian angel, this way. Come on, then. Let's find this guy. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Choke of luck, you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are hoarded up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Ah! 
West! What the hell do you want? Who? We got ourselves in company! It's ours! I see tough schoolgirls! I done raise you there, sneaky baby. Man and woman, young and old, they all ya. met death at the end of my Your gun. Run oh, away, pal! You kill yourself. <clears throat> I see you there, pussyfoot. All right, let's see. Die, you son of a bitch! It's not here. That lion sack of shit! Let's see what you got. What you got on you, friend?
This is dirty.
were you eating? This is a messy one.
Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. Run out loud. Try looking the way you're walking, mister. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, this man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I nah. say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time to take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Hey. Ah. Looks like we've been scuppered. Let's get out of here. I'll drive. Who rides shotgun? Come on, Tom. I'm not waiting here much longer. If 
anybody tries anything, just shoot them. Yes! You got him! Good job! Sure is lucky you came along and you did. my boy. He shot me! Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. That ain't nice! Yet. Check up ahead! Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <laughs> 